guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doll. Welcome back to my channel. We're here for another one of our mass making workshops and we are going to make some um, really cool pockets that are like a double pocket that again I saw on um, Tanya from Tatty, Tatty Treasures um, channel. And again, it was a DD Farago. I know I've done one of these um, recently. So I will try and remember to link both DD and T Tanya's um, channel below. And you can check out their original version of the pockets. So if you're going to be crafting along, what you're going to need is some A4 sheets of paper. Um, obviously, I know that I've said this before, but A4 here in the UK, I think is like 8.25 by 11.69 inches. So it's very, very similar to what you have in the States, which maybe you call letter or legal. Um, so, you know, just your regular copy size paper, basically. Now, I also have bought along, you know, all of my printed sort of A4 sheets. They are all on copy paper thickness. Um, to be fair, it's actually just very, very slightly thicker than copy paper. It's 100 GSM. Copy paper is normally 70 to 80. Um, I don't think probably that you would want anything too, too thick for these because they may then get a little bit too thick and sort of bulky. Um, but you know, again, just play around with what you've got. So let's, oh, and then, sorry, you may need your scissors, you may need your bone folder and your glue. So yeah, that's kind of all that you're going to need really for making the basic pockets. And then of course you might want some things to decorate it up with, some inking, um, you know, some lace, things like that. So let's get cracking and see what we're going to be doing. So the basic pocket is super simple and weirdly enough, it's kind of the same base as the little fold out booklet things which we've done in a mass make before which were from scrapbooking with me um over at um e with scrapbooking with me they're kind of identical to that but they're not a booklet they're a, a double pocket so i will show you what i mean so you're going to take your a4 sheet and you're going to fold your centers in like this now what you want to do is have a very slight overlap where you're going to be gluing your centers down like that okay and then you can obviously bone folder that down like that and then all you're going to do is fold your corners over now i have to say tanya or tanya at um tattered treasures tatty treasures sorry she did hers together so they were the right size or you know the same size so that's probably a good good technique there. So um, I will do that here as well. So like that. Okay. And then unfold it. And then all you're going to do is pop a little dab of glue to your little, you know, triangle corner things. So a bit there, a bit there, get my dry wipe and press that down for just in case any glue's seeping out. Okay, and then same on the other side, press that down, okay like that and this one and then you've got your basic pocket there like that and then all you're going to do is glue your piece down along the center fold so we'll just run some glue down here you know pretty close to that edge and then you can then glue that or you know stick that down like that again just go along with my dry wipe just to catch any excess glue now obviously um, if you've got double-sided paper then you don't need to worry about your insides because they're going to look obviously super pretty this as you can see is not double side printed so what I'll do is just kind of fill in the space with just some book page so I'm just going to fold my book page down so there's no roughly 
how wide to cut it. Oops, like that. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm obviously going to have one of those really silly days today where nothing's going to quite go to plan. So, uh, yep, I will apologise now. It's just going to be one of them. One of them days. So then you can obviously cut your book page to size. Because you're just wanting it basically to slot in to your little pockets there. Like that. And then we've got one for the other end as well. You know, and you don't have to use book page, obviously. You could use, you know, anything you like. You could use sheet music. You could use, um, you know, other decorative papers. Anything at all. Or, you know, if you didn't want to faff around doing this at all, of course, you could just, you know, splosh some coffee dye in there or some... Um, uh, what do you call it? Sorry, my daughter's <laughs> loitering around waiting for me to put in my password while she's just um, downloading another game. So it's very distracting. Um, the distress ink. You could obviously just distress ink in there. And, you know, any of those things are going to look absolutely awesome. But I just thought the book page would look really nice. It goes really nicely with this, um, you know, this paper. So I thought, let's just do some book page. So how pretty does that look? And this paper that I'm using, this is from a new kit um, of mine, which at this point of filming the video, because it's, um, you know, the Easter holidays, and so I have to be mindful of grabbing time when I can, I'm actually filming this ahead by a few days rather than how I normally film it on the Monday. So at this point in time, that kit is not in my shop yet. Mainly... You know, it's all complete and finished, but mainly it's not in my shop because I haven't picked a name for it yet. Um, but I'm hoping by Tuesday, you know, by the time that this video goes up, it will in fact be in my shop. So, um, yeah, keep your eyes peeled if you like the look of these papers and hopefully it will be in my shop by by Tuesday. And as I say, you know, the main reason it's not in there at the moment is because I haven't picked a name for it. So... Yeah, I can't tell you what it's going to be called yet, but anyway. So that's the paper. Really super pretty, isn't it? And then all you're going to do is fold your pocket up like this. And, you know, again, you could have them identical heights. You could have them staggered, however you like. I'm just going to stagger this slightly. And then we go down with the bone folder. Oops, like that. And across... Okay, and then I'm just going to pull a journal in to show you how this is going to look because obviously, like I say, it's like a double page pocket. I'm just going to stop the video and just put my password in because this is driving me insane. Hold on. Right, that's better. So very distracting when someone's loitering to the side, isn't it? Um, so this is how this would look. Oops. Well, providing I haven't glued it together. You could then hook it kind of at the bottom and then what you could do is obviously glue it, say, on three sides here, three sides the other side. And then what you've got is you've got a gorgeous pocket here. And obviously you could have a little pocket here, but you've got a pocket there. And then on the other side, again, you'd have, you know, if you'd done the three side glue, you'd have a pocket there. Or, of course, you know, that side either, either way. And your pocket here. Aren't they just gorgeous? I love them and so clever and just awesome when you can do like two pockets, you know, two pages in one hit. That's just like super, super, super quick, isn't it? So thank you so much, Dee Dee. And thank you so much, Tanya. It's really, really, really cool. And um, yeah, really love them. And they're pretty quick to make. So I'm going to run you through another one. As I say, I mean, they're not kind of, um, you know, anything tricky. I would not be tackling them if they were. Um, but I will just run you through one more before we can just settle down and relax and have a nice time mass making some. So that's one. Um, I'm going to do this paper. So this also is another collage page, which again is going in my shop. And again, I've got three new things going in my shop. So I've got this paper, this one, and the one that I just showed. None of them are in there yet. 
again purely because I haven't picked names for them so if you like the look of them keep your eye out and by Tuesday when this video goes up they should definitely be in my shop so yeah okay so this one's gorgeous it's got these beautiful shades of kind of peach I do love peach I must say it's um, such a pretty color isn't it so again then you can kind of marry your sides up you know to fold down your your triangles like that okay and then on the other one like that okay open that back out and then again you're just going to glue down your little corners like that okay and this one I have bought some along that are double-sided but I think most of them are single-sided so um, you know I'll have to do that kind of fill in with the book page for these but I mean I quite like that I think that looks quite pretty um, you know just filling in with some book page and like I say I mean it doesn't have to be book page you could use you know anything at all you could just use some plain coffee dyed paper you could you know as I say you could just distress ink the page itself and then that would you know have the same effect so well not the same effect obviously but <laughs> you know it would get around the plain plain white background and that's all that we're really trying to do isn't it so okay let me just bone oops bone folder this down so we're nice and smooth okay yeah I'm going to have it this way Again, just run that glue straight down the edge. Whoa. And just dab that out. And then we're going to just fill in the ends again just with some book page. Let me just grab some book page in. Okay. And actually I've got two different book pages here but I mean it doesn't matter because they're going to be on different you know different pages so it's all fine so that one and that one I'll just trim those down okay and that one And then just trim that across there. Okay. Oops, have I done that slim enough? Oh my goodness. Come on. Yep. So that one and then this side we will have this one. And actually I can just trim this straight down here. Well, that fits into that pocket oh my gosh yep <laughs> barely barely fits in there I might have to trim this down slightly more it looks like it should fit but yeah I was obviously mucking about and not doing a very good job of it so yeah there we go so we can just glue those in now super tired today again keep on feeling really tired and um, yeah that's not really very helpful when you're when you're doing videos is it well it's not really very helpful when you're doing anything very much except for going to sleep I guess ah dear okay so 
that's that one and then the other side just do this one which of course I struggled to even get it in in the first place so no doubt this will be another struggle again okay oh my goodness I don't know why but yeah I'm just having a super fiddly time here today oh do you know what I could just cut that down I think because I'm just struggling to actually slide that in so do you know what I'm just going to cut that cut that down across there <laughs> rather than struggle even more to try and get that in to that pocket so let me just okay right let me mop that up and trim that down just across there okay right so yeah a bit of a bodge there going on but you know hey it all worked out fine can't really tell but it's been bodged up um in the end and again then you're going to then just fold it up and you know just kind of vary it you know you don't have to vary it like i say you could have it so as they're identical height but i mean it's kind of fun isn't it to have it staggered heights really because then each page will look you know slightly different rather than just looking the same so that's that one okay so i will kind of be quiet now um well i won't be quiet obviously but you know with regards to what we're doing and we will just craft along and um have a nice time making some of these so um yeah let's just kind of relax and have a nice time so i hope that everybody's having a good week as i say i'm filming this ahead so I haven't obviously gone into next week yet. I'm still still the week before. But I hope that everybody's week has started well. Hope you all had a nice weekend. Okay. So again, just going to kind of marry my corners up. Or, you know, match match them up anyway. I don't know whether you guys can see my ring that I'm wearing today, but look at my gorgeous ring. So this was gifted to me by Hannah. So Hannah, if you're watching this, I want to say thank you so, so much. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous ring. And there was also a little story behind this ring. So I really appreciate your kindness in gifting it to me. Super, super kind. Perfect fit. It's another one of those like elasticated type ones, which are awesome because, you know, they just fit everybody then. So, um, yeah, thank you so, so much. I absolutely love it. And it's got this kind of um, centre thing going on with like almost like a little sort of pebble. I don't think that you can probably see on the um, video, but yeah, kind of like moving, moving piece in the middle. So, yeah, absolutely love it. Thank you so, so much. Honestly, I just I feel so spoiled. You guys are so, so kind to me and... Yeah, really, really appreciate everybody's lovely gestures and kindness. It's just so awesome. I do absolutely love my junky rings, as you know. And um, I know that I have said the story of, you know, how my junky rings, kind of my junky ring wearing came about. Um, but for those of you who didn't hear, I just kind of very quickly sort of say... It basically, you know, when I got married, obviously I, you know, had my engagement ring and my wedding ring. And then um, I've always absolutely loved, you know, rings. I mean, I, I like jewellery generally, but rings especially, I just always really loved. And um, sadly, several years ago, my knuckles sometimes seem to swell up. I don't know really whether it's kind of linked with too much cutting or, you know, I don't know what it's linked with. I don't always do it, but quite often, you know, so I can get the ring on. I mean, I have to say sometimes I can't even get the ring on. But what has happened, you know, quite often is I've got the ring on and I've worn it. And then, you know, later on that day, my knuckles have kind of swollen and I can't then get the ring off. And, you know, that's a horrible feeling. I don't know. I don't know why it panics me so much. You know, it's just, it's just a ring. It's just, you know, on my finger, it's, you know, it shouldn't really be a big deal, but for some reason it kind of like causes a bit of a horrible panicky feeling. So um, unfortunately, I kind of stopped wearing 
you know, sort of proper jewellery, as it were. Um, you know, my rings that actually I'd bought to fit, if you see what I mean. And, um, you know, rather than wear nothing and be, be bare on my hands, which just seemed super boring, I started wearing junky, you know, junky rings, which, of course, was then an awesome hobby because wow there's such a lovely selection and choice that you can find so um yeah it became a bit of a sort of obsession almost um buying all these wonderful gorgeous um junky sort of rings and then of course when i sort of started my channel i you know i wore them in videos and it's just kind of stuck really from there so uh yeah i just want to say thank you so much because you know, I've never had so many awesome rings as I do now. And, um, you know, to think that they're from you guys, you know, so many of them are from you guys, is just, oh, such an amazing feeling. So thank you so, so much. And especially, you know, because, I mean, I've received a few now with lovely sort of stories behind them. And, you know, that's just so touching. So thank you so much. It's really, really, really kind and really, like... It's just amazing that, you know, to be thought of, um, you know, in such a sort of kind, nice way, especially when they have kind of a little story attached and, you know, it's really, really nice of you guys. So, yeah, thank you so much. But, yeah, this one's absolutely gorgeous. So um, just my type of thing. And honestly, I mean, I change them around every day. So, you know, I love having such a great selection to wear. Oops. As a child, I used to collect earrings, um, which, you know, I absolutely loved, obviously, while I was, you know, while I was collecting them. And, I mean, I was a kind of 80s child and, um, yeah, could get, obviously, loads and loads of different earrings. I mean, I guess you still can now, but they're kind of more boring these days. They're sort of more, you know, maybe just a stone in them or, you know, something like that. When... I was growing up, you know, in the 80s, I mean, you could get all sorts of things. I had a pair that were like a sort of faux zipper. I had a pair that were, I think, fish on them, you know, dangly, dangly fish. I think they were kind of yellow. Um, yeah, all sorts of different earrings, which how cool is that? Um, you know, to get all of those different earrings. I don't really see them around like that anymore. So, I mean, whether or not they exist, who knows, but... Yeah, I don't really see them around anymore like that. And also, again, you know, as I've grown older, strangely, I can wear cheap earrings for a while. Um, you know, by cheap, I just mean kind of the metal or whatever, you know, not gold, not silver earrings. I can wear them for a while, um, you know, maybe like three days on the trot or something. And then I have to give them a miss for a few days because my ears start getting a bit sore. Um, when I was a child they didn't used to affect my ears at all so um you know i could just wear cheap earrings all the time but these days yeah i'm okay for a few days and then i have to kind of give them a miss for a couple of weeks um so yeah they're not quite so i don't know what the word is but you know they're not quite so suitable as they were when i was younger um and you know you just don't get the variety that we used to when I was a child so but they were a very very fun thing to collect I collected stickers as well for a while when I was a child they were kind of all the rage and you used to get these um I think they were called like scratch and sniff scratch and sniff stickers I used to have um a friend who you know she also collected stickers and oh we would um collect all these scratch and sniff stickers oh and they smelled lovely some of them this is my spring tea um papers for anyone who's wondering what papers i'm using now and these are in my shop the only ones that aren't are those three that i've just used so but as i say i will do my best to make sure that they are in my shop by the time this video goes up so yeah they should be actually in there now um yeah, uh, scratch and sniff stickers. So, and they smell lovely. They would smell of kind of strawberries and oh, bubble gum. Bubble gum was a a big theme with regards to the smells. They were obviously a popular popular smell. 
watermelon. I think quite a few smells of watermelon. And they didn't necessarily have to be in the shape of what they smelled of. You know, you could have like a, I don't know, a bunny sticker, but it would smell of bubblegum, for instance, you know. So, yeah, they were quite popular and quite fun. Rubbers, they were another thing that we used to collect. Um, and again, you used to get all these different amazing novelty rubbers. And, um, you know, again, I, I don't know really whether you get them all now, to be honest. And also some of those rubbers really smell awesome too. So, um, yeah, I mean, maybe that's why they don't kind of have such things like that so much now because perhaps, you know, perhaps whatever they kind of were making them with to make them smell, perhaps that was kind of not very good for you, I don't know. But yeah, over the time I collected a few different things really. Always been a bit of a collector now I kind of look back. I mean, obviously now, now I'm hoarding paper and, you know, vintage stuff, books, <laughs> things I make, <laughs> you know, fabric, lace, all sorts of things like that. And, um, yeah, obviously now I kind of look back, I think, oh, actually, that was obviously always in me because um, even as a child, I would collect all these different things, which, I mean, collecting, is that just another form of hoarding, maybe? I don't know. I have no idea really whether that would be. But I mean, I guess it kind of is because, um, you know, I didn't actually do anything with these things that I collected. I would just collect them and then look at them from time to time. It wasn't like I was then putting them to a purpose or a use or anything. You know, they were just literally collected and just sat in a, in a box or, you know, in the case of the stickers, like in an album. I mean, obviously the earrings I did wear, but I mean the rubbers, definitely I didn't use those because of course I wouldn't want to ruin them. Um, I don't know what happened to my rubber collection actually. I feel like I did keep it. Um, I don't know whether it might be floating around in my, in my loft somewhere. Yeah, no idea now. But yeah, I don't think kids really kind of collect things so much anymore, do they? I mean, I guess some kids do, but I've tried to encourage my children to collect things from time to time. And yeah, they haven't really. They're not really very interested in collecting things, I think. I mean, it's probably just as well. Otherwise, we'd have all their clutter, you know, just laying about the house as well as my clutter. You know, which wouldn't probably be very good. So, yeah, maybe it's a blessing in disguise that they've never really fancied collecting anything. But like I say, I mean, I don't know really what there is to collect these days particularly. I mean, I hear some people collect things like, I don't know, beer mats and that type of stuff. Um, I don't know, what else? I think some people collected badges in the past. I mean, a lot of these things are not really available anymore. I mean, I don't know really whether you get beer mats even now. Possibly not. Um, badges. Mm. I mean, I guess you do get badges, but not, again, like when we were young. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's not so many different things that people can collect now. There we go. And perhaps I'll do a double-sided one in a, in a minute because um, otherwise I've done them all where I've had to fill in the ends with some book page. I mean, not that I mind that. It looks really nice filling in the ends with the book page. Just check that this goes in. God, it's a bit tight still. Let me just trim that down. started out quite sunny this morning and now it's deteriorated again. I have to say, I asked Alexa, what's the temperature? Oh, it was zero, zero degrees. 
with a top temperature of I think she said seven yeah pretty sure she said seven we met up with my friend um, yesterday and her daughter so her daughter's obviously friends with my daughter and you know us mums we're friends too and um, yeah we went to the park wow it was freezing absolutely freezing I mean the girls they didn't mind they didn't even notice I mean my daughter's the first to be stripping off and was like oh mum you know I'm hot I'm hot you know look after my coat which I thought oh fantastic because I just put it over my knees while we were sat on the bench and used it like a blanket but meanwhile she was kind of just running about with no coat even I don't think they feel it you know like we do okay that one. Just going to trim that down there because it's overhanging slightly. Okay. And then again, just fold that up. You know, and I'm really not, you know, focusing at all on where I fold it or anything like that. Just doing it so that I've got a couple of different, you know, different height pockets, one on either side. So, yeah, they'd just be different heights. Okay, let's do another one. Uh, I was looking through to see, did I bring a double-sided? Yep, I have got a double-sided one here. So, this gorgeous blue. So, this is from my French blue papers. And, yeah, just going to... This way round, would I prefer this? This way round, actually. So, again, just going to kind of squish that in. In that middle section okay oops Yeah, I thought, oh, I'd best come on and do the mass making because, um, you know, it's the only video that I don't film ahead. All of my videos normally I have filmed ahead and, you know, so there's no kind of problem. But the mass making I do tend to just do, you know, on the Monday normally. And I just thought, you know, just in case I don't really get a chance to do it on Monday, I'd best film it while I have the moment now. Or, you know, while I have the time now. Again, just glue my little corners in. So they're quite quick pockets, aren't they? I mean, again, they're another one of those pockets that look really quite super sophisticated and, um, you know, really a nice pocket, but they're actually very, very simple and very, very quick, which of course is, you know, right up my street. I love nothing better than simple and easy and you know who doesn't love quick and easy to be honest why would you want to have anything other than quick and easy that's just a mystery to me <laughs> why anyone would opt for you know long and complicated that's just you know why would you that way again just run some glue straight up that edge okay dab that off here okay So, I mean, it's just a bit of a different look, isn't it? When you've got, you know, double-sided paper instead of having the book page. It's just, a, you know, a different kind of um, look to it, really. So, just again, fold that in. I mean, the good thing is when you've got the double-sided paper and you're not having to fill in with a book page or, you know, anything else, of course, it's making it super quick because you haven't got to then muck around, you know, muck about filling in that 
you know, this section, which, you know, that was the most time consuming part, wasn't it? Obviously filling that piece in. So, you know, they're quite, quite nifty if you do them with the double sided paper. So really pretty, aren't they? Okay, right. I think we're up to about 35 minutes. So I could probably do a couple more. Uh, right, I've got some of my um, flower press papers here. Please excuse the back of this, where I've obviously been printing other things. Okay. And I think by the time this goes up, shops will be open not quite sure to be perfectly honest when the 12th actually is but I think it's from the 12th that shops and things can open oh my goodness we won't know ourselves that's just going to be so awesome I know I've said this before recently but oh gosh honestly we're in such need of certain things you know I mean <laughs> mainly weirdly underwear um you know which kind of is all looking a bit threadbare and um socks things like that I mean I have kind of bought one or two things from the supermarket you know during the lockdown um, you know when we're kind of really desperate but yeah I can't wait to be able to actually go and get some new bits and pieces you know that just need replacing um, yeah I mean to be honest I don't know when you know, when would be the best time to go? Because I suspect that that first few days, the shops are going to be heaving. I might be completely wrong, but, you know, I would think that a lot of people are probably needing to replace certain things. I mean, especially if you've got kids, you know, because they do need, need things, don't they? I mean, my daughter, she's not done so badly this time, actually. But I mean, last year's lockdown, oh my gosh she was like growing out of every single item of clothing that she you know that we owned um yeah she's not seemed to have done so bad but i think that's probably because we're just we've stayed in kind of the same season so it's all still her winter clothes obviously last year what happened was we'd gone in in march and by the time we came out it was kind of summer clothes so her clothes were from the previous summer so they you know were very small um but yeah this year it's not quite so desperate for her but yeah, I mean, I suspect that those shops, when they kind of first open, they're going to be really, really busy, aren't they? Because, you know, like I say, I mean, especially anyone with children, you know, they're probably all desperate for those shops to open and be able to go and kind of buy them things if they've grown out of stuff or their things are falling apart or, you know, in holes and all the rest of it. So, like I say, it's probably actually going to be preferable to give the shops a wide berth or the first couple of weeks at least you know so of course even longer even longer to wait before being able to replace some things but you know I mean I guess to be honest we've waited this long what's the difference what difference is a couple more weeks going to make You know, and I mean, of course, you know, it does make you feel nice, doesn't it, to go and buy a couple of new things. So, you know, let's let's not just make excuses. There will also be, you know, that it would be nice to be able to just go and have a look around the shops and, you know, see what they've got in. I mean, again, I guess they're going to be probably quite thin on the ground, you know, with regards to stock, aren't they? Because, you know, I don't know how their deliveries have been going. Have they been getting deliveries in? You know, I don't know. But yeah, we might kind of get to the shops and find that still we can't replace those things that need replacing because they haven't really got any stock in, you know. I mean, lots of shops have still been operating online. Um, I've got to be honest, I'm not really a big online shopper. I mean, I shop on Amazon, don't get me wrong, all the time. But I certainly, you know, I don't really buy clothes or anything online. So yeah, I mean... Buying craft supplies online is one thing, isn't it? But clothes, you know, not really. Um, you know, because they just never fit. And then they're just disappointing. And then you have that, 
you know, annoying situation of having to obviously send things back, which I just think it's better to just avoid all of that, really. I mean, I'm bad enough for having to take things back that I've bought in the actual shops. You know, you get home and they don't kind of fit as you'd hoped or, you know, if you've not tried them on in the shop, you know, you get home and think, oh, gosh, you know, that looks terrible. But at least then you can just take them back to the shop. So, um, you know, it's still preferable, isn't it, to sending things back and, you know, God forbid having to actually package up things again you know who wants to be doing that I mean as you get older to be honest shopping's just ever more disappointing I don't know about you guys but you know when you're young you kind of can buy all sorts of things and you know everything looks good and you know of course all the fashion that you can wear and you know it's really fun isn't it and as you get older, things don't really necessarily look great, <laughs> you know. They're not necessarily meant for your, you know, your age group and things, you know. Um, yeah, just becomes like really super boring, doesn't it? Probably just as well, you know. I mean, they've probably done that on purpose thinking, well, as you get older and you've got bills to pay and kids to keep and all that, you know, you haven't really probably got money for shopping anyway. So it's probably just, yeah kind of a bit of luck really that it all looks rubbish <laughs> you know saves you kind of being or you know saves you wanting to buy things I suppose but yeah I mean like my sons um I mean they quite like shopping and they quite like clothes and all that type of thing so um I think they would quite like to go shopping and buy some new clothes Because I don't think we've been shopping, it's, to be honest, everything's merged into one and it is quite hard to remember, but I don't think we've kind of had the opportunity to go shopping like since Christmas, which, um, you know, so we didn't have any January sales and all that kind of stuff that you'd normally get, you know, all those types of things. So, yeah, I think they're quite, you know, would quite like to go shopping and buy some clothes and stuff. I mean, my daughter, obviously, like I say, she has still got some things because, you know, I've just picked her some bits up at the supermarket quite a bit. So, yeah, she's not obviously in need of anything or anything like that. Right, OK, this is probably the last one that we're going to make. So this is my vintage Tanner's papers. And again, just going to kind of squish that down here in the centre. Like that. Okay. I love these rich, vibrant colours of this. Just really are stunning, aren't they? I mean, I just love the effect of anything a little bit sort of dramatic. And these are definitely, definitely a dramatic set of papers. I mean, I think kind of we're all drawn to things, aren't we? And I mean, like um, uh, Tracy Fox, I mean, she obviously loves, loves, loves nature, doesn't she? And she makes just the most gorgeous things. And, um, you know, it's often very kind of muted and neutral and, you know, really subdued. And I remember watching her, oh, not watching her, sorry, watching somebody else's um, video and then... I noticed that she had made a comment. I can't remember whether it might have been Patricia Veramontes. Um, she might have been watching one of her videos and she'd made a comment how she, you know, she'd love to be using all like the vintage ladies and all that stuff. But, you know, no matter how she tries, she's just drawn straight back to nature. And I'm probably a bit like that, but in the reverse. So, you know, I watch her videos and think, oh, I'm going to do some nature stuff. And then before I know it, I'm just finding myself back sucked in sucked into doing the ladies the you know the vintage the bright um you know more dramatic colors and you know the black lace and all that kind of stuff so definitely i think it's hard to veer away from what you're naturally drawn to you know and that's great isn't it i mean it would be a boring world if we were all the same 
but I just find it quite interesting because, um, you know, even if you make a conscious effort and think, right, I'm going to do this now, you know, if your kind of natural tendency is to go with something else, you just, you know, you end up still going with something else, don't you? It's, you know, it's not easy to then go on to that other path, really. Okay, right. So that's that one. Let's get some book page to put in here. Okay. down so my boys they're still doing the decking I mean they're still making a you know a good job of it I'm sure they're probably wishing they hadn't started it now but no they're doing a really good job of it I have to say they're making quite a lot of mess the garden's obviously a tip um you know and that's obviously to be expected isn't it but yeah it's quite messy in the house now as well because you know whenever you do anything it has just this way of spreading its way throughout the rest of your life doesn't it so i mean obviously you know my eldest son who's you know the one with kind of he's got the tools to use and all that kind of stuff so his tools are now kind of piled up in you know my front room um you know not looking overly attractive it's got to be said and um yeah i mean they keep being in and out obviously as you would if you're making decking and of course every time that they go in and out they're treading you know dirt and mud and all that type of thing through so yeah i'll be pleased when it's done i mean i'm sure they'll be pleased when it's done too because uh, i'm sure that they've kind of you know had moments where they're just like oh my gosh what were we thinking why did we say we were going to do this you know i think at the start like all these things you know it seems like quite an easy job and you know probably you underestimate how long it's going to take so i think you know they, when they started out maybe we're hoping that it would be done over that easter weekend and of course you know it, it wasn't but yeah but they're still plowing on with it so it's not like they've lost interest or anything they're still still very much working on it which is great well which is lucky because my gosh we'd be having a fallout if they weren't if <laughs> they just dug up the garden and then just left it wow yeah we would be having a big fallout now okay right Let's try and get that in Okay. Okay, and then this one. Oops. This one, I might try and cut it down so as I get a little bit more of that sort of title section here. I think that looks really nice so I'm not going to slide it right the way in but more to that here and then hopefully you can chop it down and have a bit of that you know a bit more perhaps I should say a bit more of that visible so chop that down here okay right okay I'm going to have a bit of a clean up and um, then we can decorate decorate one up because of course that's that's the fun part isn't it you know I mean making the bases that's kind of you know that's one thing isn't it but doing a bit of decorating that's the most fun so let me just have a bit of a clear up of my desk hold on okay so I've cleared the table and I've also pulled in a couple of clusters which I thought would be you know really great for these because of course you know they're ready-made so they're going to make things come together super super quickly 
So I've got this one here with the black lace, which as you know, I always love the black lace. And how pretty does that look on there? It just looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Now I've also got this beautiful coloured lace. So I'm just going to, I'm, well, I'm just going to trim it down here. Probably will not have it this long, but you know, we'll just start with it like this. So I'm just going to cut it down into half because it's quite, you know, quite thick otherwise. Like that, okay. Or maybe at the bottom, it's quite nice. I mean, to be honest, I quite like it, you know, in both places, I think it looks good. I'm not really too sure that I've got necessarily a preference. Uh, also got some white here, just, I mean, that's probably pocket overload, to, uh, pocket overload, lace, lace overload. So I'm just going to just ink up here. Oops. And actually what I should probably do is I'll just put this in here to ink here. Okay, and we go down those edges. And then let's do this side. So again, let's just pop this in here so I can get to those inner edges. Like that. And then let's just do along here. Okay, and then just around here. I mean, obviously I don't really need to do the back of here, I, you know, this bit, because that bit's going to be glued down onto the page. So just getting it around, you know, the, what would be like the fronts of the pockets, if that makes sense. So let's decide which one we want where. So I bought the two um, clusters along for this because I thought both of them actually look really good on here. Now, do we want some... Oops, some of this lace here. I mean, it's really pretty colour, isn't it? And that does go really lovely on there. Oh, let's just go for it. Otherwise, I could be here all day debating and wondering, shall I, shan't I? Oh, I think I'm going to have it on that side, weirdly. Not that it probably makes any difference at all, but... Let's have it on that side. Okay. I'll just trim that down. Oops. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm making such a mess of cutting this. Ah, it's just going to be one of those days again. Ah, right, okay. And Yeah, that's quite pretty. Now, I just wondered whether I want another little bit poking out here, actually. Oh, that's quite pretty, isn't it? Let's do that. So I'm just going to cut this little pointy section off because that just looks rubbish. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have it like that. So I'm just going to leave that light laying there and then I'm going to just hot glue this down. So I'm going to just glue this together here where it's kind of, you know, needing a bit of a helping hand because it's got no, you know, it's just held together with a staple. So that's all now stuck together properly. And then I'm just going to hot glue the whole thing on, which again, you know, I know I say this all the time, but this is going to then hold that lace down. Well, I hope it's going to hold the lace down. I'm, I'm saying it like it's definitely going to. It might not. I might be um, mistaken and it might not. But yeah, the plan is it's going to hold that lace down. And then we can have that bit of diamante. Now, do we want it here or do we want it up here? I think it's quite nice down there, actually, for a change. So let me just get rid of those little bits of, like the thread, you know, that holds it together. Okay.
So at this point of filming, just quickly actually to mention, it's not been my premiere yet. I'm filming this on the Wednesday daytime. So yeah, I haven't done the premiere yet. It's tonight. So um, I mean, I'm really hoping lots of you are going to join in. And if you did, I just want to say thank you so much. But I mean, obviously at this point, I don't know. It might just be me there. <laughs> so yeah, I don't want to be too, um, you know, too rude kind of just assuming that you know some of you would come along but yeah if you did I just want to say thank you I really do appreciate it and you know hopefully we had a blast um you know hopefully it was really 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 good fun so yeah if you did come along thank you so much and if you did come along I hope that you enjoyed it fingers crossed you did right yeah, I quite like that. Now, again, just deciding where to have this. Well, I think probably here. Now, I wonder if I want it, you know, want to have some either. That's a bit too much, I think, for me. So, yeah, just going to glue this down here. A bit like a V-neck jumper, isn't it? A V-neck jumper. Okay, and again, just snip that off, and we'll have that there. Now, I did have some butterflies, just see whether I want to have a butterfly. Oh, I've also got some of my little frames. I don't think they're quite right, actually, on there. Um, let me just ink this butterfly up. pretty isn't it yeah I quite like that um, oh actually I prefer it higher yeah I think I prefer that higher so I'm going to have it moved up um, again just going to kind of dab some glue you know because it's just been held with a staple so again just getting that so it's nice and secure and then just glue this one down up there. Oops. Oh gosh, now I've got glue seeping out. Oh dear. And then I'm just going to have that butterfly. Yeah, I think kind of there to the side looks quite nice. Okay, love how that looks. And then let me just see, just see whether we want some bling this side. I mean, we probably do, to be honest normally do don't we okay oh that's quite nice on there isn't it just check oh it's quite nice on there as well hmm now i'm in a bit of a quandary where to where to have that bling because it actually looks really good in both of those places Oh, I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Oh, let's just have it there. Okay, just going for it. I don't want to be, um, you know, deciding for the whole day where to put that. So, yeah, let's just have it up there. Oh, I love how that looks. How pretty is that? So, let's bring in our journal again, and I will just show you how that would look on the page. Hold on. Okay. So that's how that would look on the oops on the page. Sorry, I've got some hot glue threads now hanging. Isn't that just so gorgeous? And like I say, I mean, I would probably glue it on three sides on either one of these. So then what you'd have is, you know, it's stuck down there and you've got your pocket here and then a pocket here in the side and then turn the page and then you'd have your pocket here, for instance, and your pocket there. So aren't they just so gorgeous? I really hope that you like them. As I say, totally not my idea. All credit goes to Dee Dee and Tanya. And um, yeah, I will try and remember to link their videos. If I don't, you know, as I always say, it's honestly, you know, not intentional. Just please nudge me and I will link them, you know, after the event. So um, 
yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a, a great week and um yeah hopefully see you guys tomorrow so thank you so much and have a good day thanks then bye